Welcome to a brand new series. We are taking on a new challenge. We are in Fishtal. Fishtal. I'm not quite sure exactly how to pronounce it. Uh, it's Bavaria, the southeast region of Germany. And we are taking on a new challenge. Um, we have zero dollars. We do have some land. And we do have one tractor, one trailer, and guess what? Yep. We're going to go with the old standard starter kit. So, um, this series is going to be a little bit different. Uh, obviously, it's it's a bit smaller fields in this map. It's it's a huge map. It's actually quite a big map, but um, it's uh, it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful map. I love this map. And um, so what we're going to do is we're going to head over and I'll, I'll talk to you about what we're doing as we're driving. We've got a beer 6135 tractor speed. I think it's 135 horsepower. And we got ourselves a trailer. Basic Strutman. And beautiful day it is august and we'll talk a little bit about settings as we go bit of a drive for some reason i have a tendency to pick uh, farm spots that are quite a distance uh, from the store i don't know why i just like being a little bit more remote i guess all right so uh it's beautiful countryside lots of mountains uh many many fields there are actually a lot of farms on this uh map and which, which probably make it a great multiplayer map there's an old ruined castle up top there i can't really see it but we'll, we'll take a tour of that later we got walking slash bike trails And I'm excited about this series. Now, what we're doing uh, in this series is we are going organic. And what that means is we will avoid uh, using any type of chemical products uh, in our farming. Uh, so no, no fertilizers, no chemical fertilizers. No, I think this is our turn here. Uh, we will have no um, herbicides and uh, we're gonna have to do things the more natural way and uh, that should be that should add a challenge to it now let's stop for a second I'll show you the settings uh, we are going to run on real time uh, our economic difficulty is going to you know the time might I might switch it around a bit. I always do that. Um, economic difficulty is going to be easy. Uh, traffic's going to be on. No seasonal growth. And um, crop description is off. Uh, periodic plowing required is on. Field stone is off. Lime uh, required is off. And weeds are on. Uh, as far as vehicle control are concerned, um, we're going to have the... We're not doing the automatic engine start and uh, all of the others are defaults and we are not going to um, um, you know have this done automatically by by workers so none of it we'll we'll have to deal with all of it ourselves you know me and fuel if you watched my first series uh, how many problems I had because I kept forgetting to fuel up um, that said, I, I use this mod as well. Uh, it turns down the maintenance costs and paint and all that. A, I don't find this stuff fun at all and uh, interesting. Um, and B, I find it's actually a little bit ridiculous at a hundred percent. Um, that's not usually the way things work. Um, I don't know why they, they've set it to that high. So I know there's maintenance involved definitely, but not you know 
plow three fields and you got twenty thousand dollars of maintenance on your tractor it's, that's not a thing so i don't know why that's set like that anyways long story short that's our settings uh, let's carry on so we are in the northern part our property is in the northern part uh, and it's a small very basic property we have um, a farmyard and we have a um, a grass field and that's it that's what we're starting with obviously I have nothing to take care of the grass right now and uh, so we do have a few trees on the property so might we might go with that old standard startup uh, at the same time though there's there's probably lots and lots of contracts on here so we'll uh, take advantage of that uh, that's the BGA that's right across from us I think and there are stones on the field it's um yeah that's another thing I, I wish would go away immediately when you uh, when you pick no stones as an option so here we are in Hirschfeld I think I pronounced that close and this is our place right here Let's pull in and have a look. Have a look around. I am going to... I think I'll just put the trailer over here for now. Just for now. We'll, we'll put it somewhere better in a minute. Okay. So we've got a nice little inner yard here. We have... An old, old style barn for big equipment. I can put a harvester in here probably. And then we've got, I like the sliding doors. They don't get in the way. Got some storage in here for things. And if this is a path, it's kind of a pass through. Um, let's, we open both doors. We can get equipment back and forth between the two I want to say two kind of yards and right over here we have a shop a workshop that we can access uh, through the front on this little bridge here and we can come in here and again this is another pass through so I don't know if you guys are like me but when I write First, start up a new map. I go and open all the doors. I don't know why I do that. But obviously we should be closing them. Here is another storage room. Lots of options, things to do with that. Got an open area here. And we have another storage room. So lots, lots of places to put equipment and and whatever we need to bales whatever at the back we have a small um silo i guess and it has a uh, 350,000 liter capacity which is not a lot um but you know we'll, we'll make do with what with it and then we've got some more storage in here so, as you can see, lots and lots of storage. You know, there's, you know, we can put, you know, root crops in here, maybe. I'm not sure. I'm opening all the doors right now. I will close them later. I just want to get myself organized, so. So, first things first, let's jump in and uh, park our trailer. Get it out of the way. I think I'm just going to put it in here for now. This looks like a good spot. Whoops. Oh no. What am I doing? I normally do this not too bad. There we go.
Okay, let's take a drive through and then we'll have a get a bit more of an aerial look at things. Let me switch camera view here. There's our one yard and then the inner yard. Got a bit of fencing here. And we have this grass field here. This whole open area out here is ours, including some of these trees. Now I did a tour of this map, um, you know, on another game save just to get a sense for, you know, what the map is like. Uh, one of the things that I noticed is it's another one of those maps where you cannot add trees. So, um, I, I don't know if you can plant them maybe, but you cannot just add them using the, uh, the, uh, landscaping tools. So we're going to be really selective as to which trees we take down because we can't put them back up again. So here we are. Here we are. Let's have a look at the map. And we are up here. So let's look at the whole map. If we can get it all on the screen. So it's pretty large. Uh, lots of fields. Lots of smaller fields. And we are, this is our area here. And if we select our farmland, we have, we'll zoom in a bit. And we've got that piece and the grass. So, welcome, welcome to a new series. It's going to be fun. This is going to be different than some of the other stuff I've been doing. Um, in the other series, it's been, you know, kind of trying to go big, I guess. In this series, it's going to be trying to make as much use of um, the small things that are given to us. So we'll be optimizing a little bit more here. All right, so I put the trailer away, but I really shouldn't have because we need it. Uh, we got to get going. And we're going to start a, getting a tree or two down. And we will um, load them up. I will be using super strength um, for loading trees and perhaps some other things but i'm going to try to keep it to just trees so there's a road here that's not on our property and there are some of the trees that are a little offset like these guys over here they're they're very close together so we can thin that out a bit so we're going to take down one of those Now we're gonna set, head to the sawmill, we'll sell it. Our goal, I think, is to get some, um, you know, this is our this is our money maker right now, uh, this field here, uh, aside from maybe a tree or two, but uh, we really should have a mower and a way to uh, sell um, uh, either hay or grass, or, you know, if we wanna take it to silage, we can certainly do that. And uh, we need to get money flowing. We have none. Zero. So that means, uh, you know, no no workers for now. Uh, we will use workers in the series, maybe a bit later. Uh, we will not use course play on this, on this map at all. All right, let's go. Let's get, uh, let's take one of these two down here. They're really close together, so... I think this one is a pine. This one is a spruce. I forget which one is worth more. 32 meters. I'm going to go with the pine. We're going to get this guy down. Alright. Let's get this cleaned up. Uh, I'm getting it. I'm getting better at this.
Okay. So well, that is a big tree. I don't think we can get this whole tree inside the trailer. Okay, I don't know if that's too big. Let's we'll see. That is almost the right size. Eh, it could be a bit longer, I guess. Try this size. It's beautiful out here. The sounds, um, just the sounds are, are really good. That's uh, about the same size. I wonder if we'll be able to get this whole thing on here. Let's load one on this side. Now, of course, we're going to be continuing with Bloomfield. Uh, we got a lot of work to do left on Bloomfield. Uh, it's not going away anytime soon. This will be our, I guess we'll call it our Euro map. Um, so far we've done a South American map. We've done a um, Canadian map and this will be Euro. Uh, I would like to at some point get into another, um, you know, call it a builder map um, similar to Pioneer. I'm not sure which one I want to use yet. Um, there are, there's a, there's one that came out just recently, but I'm not sure if that's, what is that? Uh, I'm not sure if that's, if I like it, to be honest. It's got some neat, neat things to it. But I may go back to the, one of the classics. Okay. My measuring is starting to go off. Let's chop that if we can. Can I chop this? There we go. Okay, where's the rest of our tree? How big is that? Oh. There we go. Yeah, that's too long as well. Okay, well that seemed really long. Um, I don't want stuff sticking out. I know it will probably stay on. Oops, that did not cooperate. And... This guy here is too long as well. Okay. Now, I think I can fit another tree on there. So, I might take another one down. Yeah, why not, right? I think that one, that one is a spruce. Bit shorter. No way. I did it in one first shot. Sweet. All right. How big is that? It'll start to get a little sketchy. Nice thing about the second row, I guess, is it can stick out a bit.
All right, that'll be, this is gonna be a great, uh, nice size load, which in theory should stay on. Now, where is it? How big is that? You know what? We'll put that on and it'll stick out. That's okay. I'm gonna put it over on this side a bit. There we go. I think that's gonna be okay. All right. Oh no. It has no straps. Uh oh. Uh oh. All right, this will be challenging. I didn't realize there would be not, not be any straps. We'll have to drive very carefully. Now, uh, we got to go to Sawmill, I guess. And I th think, if I remember correctly, it is... We are here, and I think it's up here, one of these. Wood chips and Sawmill. So we can exit right off the property here. Just have to drive very carefully. So things don't fall off. Yeah, mower is our first uh, first purchase. We're going to have to go cheap at first, but eventually I think we'll, uh, uh, which road is it? No, that's not it. There we go. It's this one. Yeah, we're going to have to go cheap a little bit, um, at first. It'll be a cheap mower, cheap wind rower, cheap, 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 cheap. But we will get, um, we'll get our money going soon enough, I would think. There are some considerable hills on this map. I was tempted to start with a, a smaller tractor, smaller horsepower tractor. Uh, when I saw the hills, I, I did a drive around. Uh, I said, nope, 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 nope. I gotta have a certain amount. Okay, where are we? I think it's over there. Yes, this is it. Okay, carefully. Um, is it over there? No. That's where the wood chips go. I think it was in the upper right side. Uh -oh. oh, there we go. Okay. We're all set. Now, let's see what wood is worth on this map. Okay, that's fair enough. Completely emptied. I gotta be careful, I guess. Um, we don't have many trees to cut down. So whatever decision we make, uh, we need an end-to-end -end solution. So if we're going to do silage, then, you know, question is, are we bailing or are we going to um, put in a pit and uh, yeah, I'm not sure what we're doing. One thing I did not check on this tractor, I should probably check that in our workshop, whether you can put a front loader on it. And neglected to check that when I selected it. If we can't put a front loader on it, our answer is pretty simple. We're going to be starting with bales. Of 
course we can lease equipment, so there's always that option as well, right? Okay, so... I think... Let's have a look at the shop and see what kind of a... deal we can get on a mower. Uh, mowers are here. And we only have this. We can maybe get another couple of trees, so eight. So we're gonna have to go real budget. Uh, I think there's a couple of options. There's this one here, which is only 1.4 meters. Let's have a look at that. Very small, uh, but it'll do. And then we've got this guy, who is just a small little mower again, but it's only this, you know, you can't beat this price, I guess. What else do we have in here? Real old school. Yeah, it's kind of cool, isn't it? Interesting. A couple of different designs. And then we've got this thing is probably the best price and might be the biggest width. So I think I might start with this guy. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to buy that. That's our first step, getting the grass down. And then we're going to need to... Oh, this is going to cost a lot of money. Um, ugh. Okay. Um... Let's let's have a look at pits. Um, no, no, we can't do that. So let's have a look at. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm getting my head ahead of myself here. First, let's find out if I can put a front loader on this. And we'll customize. And no, we cannot. All right. That's maybe why it was a good price. Limited functionality. I don't have a three point on the front. I can't put a loader on it. Okay, so we got the mower. Let's start with getting the mower, I guess. Let's see you in town. Okay, here we are. Let's get this loaded up. To do the trick. Let's get some mowing done. And we're almost back at our farm now. We got some mowing to do. We got quite a bit of grass, actually. It's gonna take a while. I'm not gonna mow it all. I'll just get a, a good, good chunk of it done. Right, I think maybe we'll try to time lapse this. Let's go.
Oh, this is taking a long time with this mower. I think we're going to... I want to keep the episode short. Um, started getting into that groove a little bit with the Bloomfield series. And I think we're going to try to do that again. I like that 20 minutes to half an hour kind of window. So uh, on that note, that's going to be it for this one. Um, we're already over 30, I think. And um, I got still got a ton of this to do. So I'll do that off camera. And then we'll move on to the next step. We'll have a look at some contracts. We'll try to mix it up a bit, get things going. Anyways, I hope you enjoy this new series. It's, um, I, I'm going to try to make it a different, a bit of a different pace than what I've been doing. Try to keep it, uh, keep it cozy, I guess. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And, uh, I love, I love your feedback. Um, don't be shy. Don't be shy. Anything you feel, um, you want to share with me is, is a beautiful thing. So have a great day, everyone. We'll see you in the next episode.